welcome back to Cosmic Chats. We're here with uh, Carolyn Medina. Say hi, Carolyn. Hello. She's here with a little bonus question. We had a fabulous part one with her. If you didn't catch it, go ahead and watch it. But after you watch this one, all righty just a reminder if you haven't liked and subscribed we really appreciate your support and if you have your own channel why don't you write it in the comments and we will support yours say please support my channel and we'll go over there and write some comments and say we're supporting your channel please support us we want to create some kind of community i think uh here speaking of community is the ebook vedic meditation stories it is downloadable and free right now if you have unlimited kindle it is the only publication in the world that gives us true stories from underrepresented people who learn the practice and how it helped us. If you want to learn more about the nonprofit, details are all down, but now let's get to some questions with Carolyn. All right, do you ever see repeating numbers? Yes. Ooh, which ones? I feel like I see 11, 11 a lot and 22, 22. Mm. If you also see that, pop that down in the comments. You're not alone. If you had a place in the world you haven't gone to and would like to, where is it? I would like to go to New York. Yeah, New York City. I'm like a real big, I love the 90s like supermodels. And I know that they're not all there, but I feel like it would bring me back. And also, I'm a huge fan of the TV show, The Nanny, and I really want to go to Flushing and see where Fran grew up. <laughs> I know she's like my angel. I love Fran. That can be arranged. Yes. So uh, is there a food that you love, but your body says, please, Carolyn, don't put it in me. Don't oh, don't, do get, don't get me started. I love Chipotle. It is not a mutual feeling, though. <laughs> uh, do you like spicy food yeah the hot sauce from chipotle i could eat that till forever and it's just it's so hot it does not agree with me <laughs> i know no good no good <laughs> so we're not going to see you on the beach with shots and spicy food <laughs> uh when you swim in your dreams what kind of swimming do you do um i don't think i've ever had a dream where i have swam because i don't know how to swim i know my hair is always a, a funky color so it just rinses out with chlorine so I, i've never learned how to swim that's the reason why because of your hair dye i have i told you i have really awesome parents they let me dye my hair when i was like seven so this has been going on for a long time <laughs> oh so you have all the multicolor stages yeah cool is there I would have to, sorry i would have to venture that if i did dream when i was swimming it'd be like synchronized swimming because i love synchronized swimming <laughs> that's so it's the nose plug let's say hot i love like the outfits and then when their feet go like that so cute mm -hmm. no water up the nose no is there a favorite phrase you love to say it doesn't have to be in english but for some reason you just you love the vibration of those sounds yeah for sure um i like the band 311 i've been a big fan of them since i was in middle school and the lead singer nick he always says stay positive and love your life and i just i love that i mean how else can you have a what a better way to have a better positive mental attitude you know yes yes If there was one risk you haven't taken in your life that came up, what was it that you would actually now do? Probably introduce myself to like more people I thought were like cute, like kind of flirt with them. I'm not like a big flirter, but now that I have, now that I'm older and have, I'm a little bit more confident, I wish I would have said something back then. You know what I mean? Like, hey, what's going on? And I, I didn't, but you learn is there a mystery that you would love to unfold probably like the pyramids like how 
like any like stuff involved with them I've always found that like really interesting I'm like oh what's going on because a lot of people believe different things about aliens and stuff and my family's actually from um this big center for like UFO sightings in Monta Vista Colorado that's like the number one sighting for UFOs I guess now so it'd be interesting to learn more about that and then how it can relate to the pyramids do you think it was aliens that made the pyramids I don't, but it'd be interesting to learn about it. I'm like, that's clearly somebody, but <laughs> it'd be interesting. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? Um, I love Christmas only because I love tamales and I love Mexican cookies. And that's both best of both worlds. And are you a big gift giver? Yeah, when I like, I feel like when I love somebody, my sense of budget just goes out the window. <laughs> yeah you find the right like, thing it's yeah I have like a champagne lifestyle with like a beer budget so that's not me flexing it's like me like oh I just completely lost track sorry guys the the reward of the person opening a present that acknowledges who they are and that comes out in their face is where it really is about gift giving, right? Yeah. It's all about giving the gift, not getting the gift. But there is also the joy in receiving when someone does see you and gets you that gift, you get to reciprocate that back. Yeah, for sure. I remember when I was 20, I was on, I was living in like a really bad apartment. I lost my job. I had like food stamps. And it was just bad, like really bad income. And then the next year I had, I got a better job, better housing, everything. It like made a 180. And so that year I made sure I'm like, I'm going to give my parents like the best present ever. So they see how much that I appreciate them and how much I love them. And then when I bought my first house, my mom bought me my kitchen. I, I couldn't believe that she was able to do that for me. I remember holding her at, um, Floor and decor, the tile store here, and we were just holding each other crying because we just couldn't believe that she did that for me. Oh, what a yeah. beautiful. I hate to say the word story because that can diminish it. What a beautiful oh, truth yeah. in regards to gift giving. And yeah. people get very confused with with uh, with uh, Christmas, for example, saying it's become over commercialized. It's just about this. Well, well money is uh, a transaction. It has to be an exchange for a transaction. And if that particular gift by expressing your love for someone and giving a gift that they will resonate and love, then it's exuding that transference for love. It's reciprocated back by their acknowledgement of it and that they see that you see them and that they are seen by you. And then when they get to give a gift, they get to experience both of those. But when gifts are given without that consciousness, of course, people are going to say that it is commercialized. Yeah. Yeah, for so, sure. I, I love Christmas. So, well, we have enjoyed having a little bonus part with Carolyn here. If you want to find out what she's up to, it's all going to be in the description. She has a beautiful vision of helping to change the consciousness of the world and dealing with, it's really the inner beauty salon. All right, we'll see you soon on the next Cosmic Chat.